So that morning came down and uh, we had steak and eggs for breakfast. Now the, the chiefs really knew when there was going to be a real battle going on. When you had steak and eggs, you knew you were up for a really bad day. <laughs> we took off at 10 minutes after nine o'clock. At 12 o'clock, we, we saw them in the, in the distance. Three big carriers that were very close heading towards us and I saw one that was maybe 20 miles to the distance. Now, as you, as you come down there, you know, you're, you're going down 240 knots, you know, like 250 miles an hour straight down. And the other thing too, is you had to look at your, at your altimeter. If it read 4,000 feet, you were already at 3,000. It was always spinning around so fast that it was always 1,000 feet behind. But I, I just barely made that pull out to make sure that it would hit. When I came uh, at a safe distance away, I looked back and just to see what was happening. It was like three haystacks on a fire. As soon as we got, had a, a cup of coffee and whatnot, uh, it was time now to, to launch the, the second attack. We knew that they had these big battleships out there that, that they were really good with their gunnery and whatnot. Uh, so it was not a case to, to have any time to, to worry about anything. You, you just knew you had to do this, you had to do that and so on. Well, we, we, we were just good, let's put it that way. 